That's why we agreed to an arbitration, didn't we? We said that if there was a problem, both sides said that we, we would go to arbitration and not have to break the law. So why are we not doing that? Well, arguably, this isn't even a violation of international law, but even... But it, what isn't? Uh, the bill certainly is. OK, so Geoffrey Cox says it is, and he's been a QC, uh, Attorney General, Barrister. He says it's a... Yeah, and, and there are, there so are other... Why do you think you're... There are eminent lawyers. What makes you more eminent as a other, lawyer than, well, than him? Well, for a start, for a start, these powers haven't actually been exercised yet. So there's certainly no violation of international law until they are. I mean, there's an argument about... If the powers given to ministers under the bill are exercised, they, then there might be a violation of international law. But the important thing is we cannot have a situation where Northern Ireland and its status within the United Kingdom is altered in quite a profound way as it would be if there was a full customs border between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. We cannot have that happen without democratic consent in Northern Ireland. It would violate the terms of the Good Friday Belfast Agreement and it would also be in contrary way, to other parts of the treaty that the EU signed. In what way would it violate the terms of the uh, Good Friday Agreement? Because it does change Northern Ireland's status within the United Kingdom if there is a full customs border in the Irish Sea. And the, the Belfast Agreement provides that there will be no change to the status of Northern Ireland within the United Kingdom without the consent of the people there. What does the Good Friday Agreement say about the border specifically? Um, the, there isn't any reference to the border. No, there isn't. But there is a reference to Northern Ireland's constitutional position within the United Kingdom. And it's quite fundamental that we shouldn't see a change in Northern Ireland's status within the United Kingdom without the full consent of the people of Northern Ireland. That is at the heart of the Belfast Agreement. And the, UK, the, the European Union's failure to reach agreement on sensible provisions about how customs arrangements might potentially work between Great Britain and Northern Ireland is um, violates that principle.